Hello and welcome to Insight of Thermology. I, Dr. Amrit, welcome you to a series on abnormal pupillary reactions. Today we are studying Argyle Robertson pupil. In my previous video on light reflex pathway, I told you that the afferents for the light reflex starts from the retina and goes up to the pretectal nucleus and the efferent starts from the edingovespal nucleus and goes up to the short ciliary nerve which will go and supply the sphincter pupillae. The interconnection between the afferent and efferent pathway is actually the internuncial neurons. The internuncial neurons are shown in the red ink that I'm drawing and we can see that the Pretectal nucleus is actually sending the impulses to both the edinger vespal nucleus. Pretectal nucleus and the edinger vespal nucleus, they both are located in the midbrain. From the diagram that the edinger vespal nucleus as shown over here, dorsal or rostral to the edinger vespal nucleus is a superior colliculus which is having the pretectal nucleus. So the pretectal nucleus will send uh, the fibers to both the edinger vespal nucleus which is called the internuncial neurons and the defect in this internuncial neurons or the relay system will give rise to the argyle robertson pupil. However, the edinger vespal nucleus also has connections for the near reflex pathway which are present ventral to the edinger vespal nucleus. So whenever we have a of the tectum of the midbrain which is actually the dorsal part of the midbrain also called the rostral part of the midbrain the light reflex will be affected however this edinger vespal nucleus is also involved in the near reflex pathway but the near reflex pathway is present somewhere ventrally somewhere in this location and therefore the dorsal lesions of the midbrain will not affect the near reflex pathway <laughs> Four important points are related to the Argyle Robertson pupil. The first thing is that the ARP pupil or the Argyle Robertson pupil are usually smaller. Second, they are irregular in shape. Third, either they will have a very little or almost no constriction to the light. That means the light reflex is actually absent. And third, they will have a very good near reflex and the reason I already explained you, right? So the near reflex would be present. This can be actually remembered using a mnemonic that is the same thing as Argyle Robertson pupil. A means that accommodation, R is reflex and P is present. So we can say accommodation which happens in near reflex and R is reflex, P is present. So accommodation reflex present and the light reflex, the pupillary reflex is absent. So if you read from behind, pupillary reflex is absent and accommodation reflex is present in Argyle Robertson pupil. And this is called as the light near dissociation. is their meiosis or constriction in Argyle Robertson pupil. Now in my previous video on the nerve supply of pupil, I already told you that the edinger vespal nucleus is associated with the parasympathetic nerve supply that is constriction of pupil and the hypothalamic center is associated with the sympathetic nerve supply that is dilatation of the pupil. However, this hypothalamic center constantly inhibits the edinger vespal nucleus. What happens in Argyle Robertson pupil is that the hypothalamic center is is also affected in such a way that there is disruption of this inhibition to the edinger vespal nucleus and the edinger vespal nucleus or the parasympathetic neurons are firing uh, un uh, without any inhibition okay because of which there is meiosis or there is constriction of the pupil and this is called spinal meiosis what are the causes of Argyle Robertson pupil? In the pre-penicillin era, the major cause of Argyle Robertson pupil was the tertiary neurosyphilis. Okay, the tertiary syphilis also called the neurosyphilis. However, now because penicillin is available, there are many other causes which can lead to Argyle Robertson pupil. And these are diabetic mellitus or neurosarcoidosis, chronic alcoholism, multiple sclerosis and infections like Lyme disease and encephalitis. 
So to summarize, the Argyle Robertson pupil are nothing but they are the meiotic pupils that will not dilate well in dim light. They have irregular shape and there is light near dissociation and along with that there will be iris abnormalities or trans illumination defects also. So that was all about Argyle Robertson pupils. Stay tuned to the abnormal pupillary reaction series. Thank you and have a nice day.